cotton shirt, polyester blazer, metal microphone, glass glasses. Everything is made up of materials and each meets a specific need. I wouldn't want to wear a metal jacket and well, cotton glasses just wouldn't work. Turns out when you need a very specific material, say for a spacesuit or a rocket, there are material scientists who go to work inventing what's needed. PhD researcher Tiffany Williams is a material scientist at the NASA Glenn Research Center. She focuses specifically on polymers for extreme environments. She stopped by the studio to tell me all about her work. I started by asking her, what exactly is a polymer? Think of a polymer as a macromolecule. So you have small molecules. Um, an example of that is salt, like sodium chloride or water, H2O. But um, a polymer is actually a macromolecule. And so on an atomic level, think of um, a pot of cooked spaghetti noodles, just a lots of entanglements. And so similar to how spaghetti noodles are prepared, if they're undercooked, uh, they would tend to be a little stiffer. Or if they're overcooked, uh, they could be very fragile and soft. That's the same thing that we kind of do with polymers uh, when we process them. Depending on how we process them, they can either be stiffer or more flexible or more um, heat tolerant. Well, let's take a look at some of the examples that you brought in. All right, so the first demonstration that I wanted to show is the difference between um, the, the mass. Both of those materials have a similar strength, but the polymer matrix composite is about 70 to 80 percent lighter. Yeah, this uh, metal here feels a lot heavier. Right, and one of the major benefits for using polymer matrix composites is the fact that they're lightweight. They have a much higher strength to weight ratio than a metal, so uh, that helps with fuel consumption and also cost savings, uh, which would help us reduce the cost of space travel. Yeah, I could imagine it would be a lot easier to fly into space with this light polymer than it would with this heavy metal. <laughs> yes, it's definitely for um, better efficiency. And then what about these two that you brought in? So another benefit to using polymer matrix composites is the tailorability. Mm -hmm. If you look at this piece of um, glass fiber reinforced mm -hmm. composite, the fibers are lined up in this zero degree direction. So mm -hmm. if you try to bend that, you'll see that it's very yeah, stiff. Yeah, that does not bend. But if you try to twist it, it's very, ah. very easy to twist in the torsional direction. But if you look at this mm -hmm. material and try to twist it in the same direction, okay. it's very stiff. But yeah, if you try to bend going. it, right? But if you try to bend it, it's much more flexible. Ah. That's because the fibers in this composite is mm -hmm. laid up in this crisscross formation. So uh, basically, the direction where the fibers are laid is where the stiffness will be. So we can tailor the stiffness and the structure in the directions where we anticipate the highest loads. Very neat. Mm -hmm. And so, do you have any advice for um, a young person who might be interested in science, especially girls? Yes, um, I always say be willing to uh, embrace challenges. Uh, many times when we try to uh, attempt our experiments the first time in the lab, the first few attempts may not be completely successful. But the important thing is to just learn from your mistakes, just like in life. Uh, but uh, learning from mistakes is a part of the learning curve and that helps you to become an expert. The next thing that I recommend is uh, you know, enjoy solving problems uh, and, and being curious, asking lots of questions, finding out why things or how things work the way they do. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for answering my questions today. No problem. You're <laughs> welcome. Thanks. Mm -hmm.